Closed captioning provided by Sammy's Cafe No. 2. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Sammy's Cafe No. 2 in Rancho Cucamonga. Let's Dine Out is made possible by support from Food for Life Baking Company, makers of over 60 organic, all-natural sprouted baked goods, as well as gluten-free and vegan products. Food for Life Baking Company, dedicated to better health since 1964. Foodforlife.com. Serve Pro of South Redlands, Yukaipa, providing 24-hour emergency service to any size residential or commercial emergencies, like water, fire, mold, or storm damage. Professional, insured, and bonded. Serve Pro of South Redlands, Yukaipa. Bratworks Gourmet Hot Dogs in Redlands. Contemporary casual dining featuring gourmet hot dog and sausage sandwiches, salads, and other culinary creations. Other locations in San Bernardino and Palm Desert. The Castle Restaurant. Serving an assortment of hot and cold appetizers, Middle Eastern entrees with live entertainment, The Castle Mediterranean Restaurant in Riverside. And viewers like you, supporting local public television. Thank you. I'm food critic Alan Borgen, member of the Southern California Restaurant Riders. I've been finding the best restaurants in the Inland Empire and Southern California for over 27 years. This is my job. This is my passion. Let's dine out. Welcome to another delicious edition of the Let's Find Out Show. What, what are you doing? <laughs> I have this delicious coconut you drink. Look, I have my hat. You look ridiculous. I have my sunglasses. I have my suntan lotion. Here, I have a uh, necklace for you. These, are, these <laughs> no, no, belong in Hawaii. No, They're no, 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 these are for the Caribbean. We're in Redlands. Put them Don't on. You know Put them on. Be a good sport. I'm not Put gonna, them on. I'm not going to go Hawaiian. It's not Hawaiian. This is the Caribbean, man. You know, we're, Puka shells. I, so whenever we do an ethnic restaurant, you can get into it. Yes. Here, can you put some sun lotion oh, in my bag? You're ridiculous. Let's, you know, let's talk food already. Tonight, we feature two unique restaurants. First, we're going to Dat Island in Redlands for some exciting Caribbean and Creole dishes. Then we're off to Biola's Southern Cuisine near the Ontario Airport for some authentic Southern family favorites. take my sunglasses off, but I'm wearing my hat because I don't want to get a sunstroke. And I got to look at this the whole time. Uh, <laughs> first of all, let's talk about the restaurant. As soon as you walk in, you know, when you, from the outside, yeah, but you see this wonderful little sand lot there. Oh, which, and it's it, it, first of all, it's not ant. This is, it's on a quaint little street. You drive up, there's this beautiful patio that just beckons you and you could take your shoes off and put your sand in she the feet. <laughs> Feels like a vacation. You walk in and it's beautiful. It's all Caribbean themed. So you have ceiling fans and whitewash stuff and palm, palm tree fronds. I mean, it's fantastic. You know, we always talk about great food and this is a restaurant that has that very unique cuisine. But I love a restaurant when I come to eat here, I feel like I'm on vacation, thus the hat and thus the sunglasses. Well, I haven't been to Jamaica many times, I definitely agree. Now, Angela, who is the, probably the main chef here, yes. she's from, I believe, Alabama. She's from the South, Yeah. yet her husband, Carlo, he's from Haiti. Mm -hmm. So we got the combination of Creole and Caribbean right there. Yes. There's a lot of dishes that I've never even seen or heard of. So. That's what's exciting about this restaurant. It's, it's amazing. Not your typical uh, Caribbean restaurant. Absolutely. And Angela so. spent time traveling throughout the Caribbean uh, when she was younger, and she learned all the different cuisines of all the different islands. So you're talking about like experts here on this great, great cuisine, and I call it vacation cuisine. Okay, let's eat. Well, I have the first dish, Alan, so I'm just going to get right into it. This is called the Tour Around the Island Combo, mm. 1995. First thing is the Creole pate. Think um, like it's puff pastry, so think like a little puff pastry, uh, little pies. And these are filled with uh, meat that's savory and you can taste the allspice and the meat and it's just, oh, it's that flaky crust. And then the veggie in it feels like spinach and onions. I don't know exactly, they wouldn't tell us exactly what we was in there, <laughs> but it was delicious. Really flaky, buttery, absolutely delicious. Then they had a, a marinade, which was a chicken fritter seasoned with Caribbean spices and served with a house special, they call it Josh sauce. We don't know what it is. It's Caribbean. It's, it's like a it's cilantro, it's, garlic. Yeah. Um, it's like a, a it's an aioli. aioli. It's an aioli. Yeah. It's an aioli. You know, um, the, we had two fritters on here. We had a, a plantain fritter and then this chicken one. And these, uh, to me, had very, very obscure flavors. They tasted like a hush puppy. Like a hush puppy, yeah. But maybe one was a little sweeter than the right. other, the plantain fritter. But I didn't get like a huge plantain no, no. flavor from it. Then we had fried okra that was fabulous. Mm. I loved it. Very crispy, fresh okra that they batter in a cornbread batter. Wait, was it crisp? Fry it. So good. Again, with that Josh sauce, you just dip it right in. Then we had um, fresh baby bello cremini mushrooms that were also in this cornbread, that crunchy, I love sweet. That. Oh my gosh, so, so good. 
Next came the Sticky Chicken Wings, $9.95. This is four large wings that were cut up. It was marinated first in soy sauce, sour orange, pineapple, garlic, mango ginger sauce with allspice. Then it was deep fried and drenched again with the sauce, kind of sauteed with yeah. it. Had a nice crunch to it. Sweet. It was gooey. I mean, you got to lick your fingers. And it's messy. Really good. Yeah, delicious. You know I'm not a huge wings fan, mainly because I feel like it's so much work well, for such a little effort. Yeah. <laughs> However, these are, are particularly good. I mean, you taste them, you're like, all right, I'll taste it. I have Very to. It's different. my job. But then you're like, okay, what are the flavors going on here? And everything here, all the flavors, they have a subtle sweetness and then this subtle back heat that's of, so light. But it's just this evolution that's really nice. There's different layers on every dish. Absolutely. That's I what agree. I love so much about it. Next, we had Island Citrus Salad, $12.95. Now, because we're fancy, we decided to add a little protein to that. Um, we did the pan-seared shrimp. It's about $4.50 extra, and I think mm -hmm. it came with about four to six uh, medium-sized shrimp. Yes, yeah, like that. Is that what you got? So this is mixed greens. It has cranberries, mandarin oranges, feta cheese, and then this beautiful citrus dressing that they mm. make that has um, shallot, onions, green onions so in it. So good. So good. Sweet, little tart. And I love this. It was real... I think you said refreshing. It really it was, was very refreshing. A beautiful it, salad is big enough for two people or three I or four. It it's a great way to start your meal, yeah. actually, because it's a it's a good palate cleanser. The only thing I thought maybe that it could use is a, maybe a little sliced red onion or something. It's just something to add another keep, layer of flavor. Keep, 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 and I forgot there was a little bit of cucumber in there as well. Very very good. You sure that? <laughs> I have to tweak every salad. You know I do. And I and this, maybe a little yeah. nut. She's like, I like, like a, nut. like a lousy tourist. Don't she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, next came the bourbon chicken. Mm mm. Fourteen ninety five. Now this is about an eight ounce chicken breast. Now it's marinated with just lemon lime marinade overnight. Then it's grilled and then basted with a bourbon sauce which is made with brown sugar, soy sauce and vinegar. It's served with a spicy red, uh, red beans and rice. Unbelievable. I love this dish. I yeah. love the sauce. Obviously you can't you know, taste the bourbon, but it had the essence of it. I mean, but there's no alcohol. No, it, but it was sweet. Out. It was perfectly cooked. The chicken had yes. a nice charbroiled flavor to it. Absolutely. But the rice, I love this rice. It was firm. It had a nice heat at the back of the throat. Mm -hmm. It was so tasty. And it was the best red beans and rice I've ever had anywhere. I agree. I agree. I, the portion's huge, number one. Um, and she plates everything so thoughtfully, really nice. everything the way it's plated. And then again, there's that sweet and then that kind of that little bit of back heat. Well, I think Just a little anything, bit. More than anything, the back heat's from the rice. I no, think. I tasted it in the sauce. Oh, really? I licked I, my spoon. I tasted it, it on the rice, but it's okay. <laughs> Taste it of both. As long as you taste it. But so. very, very good. Very good. Very tangy. Speaking of good, John John Rice. This is $16.95. Oh my, this is a real house specialty. Now, this is served Friday, Saturday, and Sunday yeah. only. This is a specialty from Haiti, so you got to come for this. This is a, it's a black mushroom they get from Haiti. It's imported. Yeah. And what they do is they make the rice with the black mushroom, so you get the essence of the broth. It's absolutely wonderful. It comes with green onion, let's see, uh, six shrimp, six mussels, bell peppers, onions, garlic, and crab claw. Unfortunately, the seafood didn't come in when we were filming, so they're out <laughs> of it. But it does come with a crab claw. Yeah. This was spectacular. I love the flavor. It was the essence of seafood. So underneath it was the seafood. Then you got the flavors of it. Yeah. And again, I can't pinpoint one flavor or the other. But all your mouth says is, oh my goodness, this is we got to have more. Well, this is a fantastic dish. It's almost like a Creole uh, jambalaya or even a paella, if you will. It's, it's totally it's different. It's different, but, but I mean, it has the same essence where you have a flavored rice well, with a lot of the different meats. Each of those have different spices and they different, do. and they have the saffron. This one doesn't. No, but it doesn't. It's just a totally different flavor. If you like rice, if you yeah. like dishes like this, this is a great one to get. Absolutely, so good. Again, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. You're next. I am next. Curry goat. This is delicious. It was about eight ounces. It was cut up pieces of goat meat. Some of it had bones in it, which I love. You pick mm -hmm. it up and just suck it out. It's so good. <laughs> now, this is marinated for about 24 hours in um, Caribbean spices. Basically, lemon, lime, lemon, I'm sorry, lime juice, curry, cumin, and fresh ginger. Yeah. So it had a nice and pungent flavor to it. It's roasted first with potatoes and carrots, and then, it, then it's cooked again with house curry sauce. It's baked for about two hours, two to three hours. It serves with white rice and black beans. Delicious. Now, a lot of people get turned off with curry. and <laughs> It's not like Indian curry, no. where some of them can be really hot. This is very, very mild, but you get all the deliciousness of what a curry should be like. And again, a curry is a made-up flavor. Curry just means gravy. Yeah. So, But it has the cumin, and it has some of the other ingredients that a curry has. Excellent, excellent. 
Don't be turned off because it's goat. I'm telling you, it's not real goaty. It's really, really good. <laughs> oh, no, if you had mutton, that's real goaty flavor. This wasn't. Yeah, I think, you know, to me, this is like a, a, like a good roast, you know, where it roasts all day. It's slowly, uh, the way she cooks it, it's very slow cooked. So the meat is very fall off the bone tender. And, of course, the carrots and the potatoes yeah, kind of lend that kind of homey, like, delicious flavor to it. Right. So very, very good. Came with sweet plantains. Don't forget that. It's kind of a nice little side. They're, they're fried. Um, they're fried, but they're sweeter. They're not as sweet as a banana, but they're not as starchy right. as, a, as a green plantain. Very, very nice finish. The next dish is the dish when we came to taste test here. I, we, I fell in love with this. I mean, I think I gobbled, like, half the plate, maybe All more than it. that. Um, this is called griot. Like, griot, griot. <laughs> I just want you to know, say. This really gets to her head. I get really excited. Okay, so this, think, um, think carnitas. That's kind of how I'm going to describe this. So this is pork that's marinated for about 24 hours in sour orange, lime, the scotch bonnet chilies, don't be afraid, garlic, onions, and parsley. They make a marinade out of this. They call it the green sauce out of this parsley. Very, very nice. Then they twice cook it. After it marinates and it cooks slowly in this, then they put it in the fryer very quickly. Just to get that crispiness that you get when you get like a carnitas right. that has that nice crispy. It is so tender. It's so flavorful. Then she sautés cabbage and onions and red bell pepper. All kinds of veggies. Veggies. Zucchini. Very, very nice. And then she does something they call pickles. Now the pickles is what makes it, folks. Cabbage and green onion and a little bit of carrot in a vinegar base. So it's, so, it's it so a little bit of acid on there. I mean, just to get a perfect bite where you get all three at once. I mean, this is fabulous. This came with green plantains, which are more starchy, more like a potato, I, I guess. I don't like them, but. I do. I think yeah. They're great. It's almost like, I was just thinking in my mind, it was almost like the plantain was sort of like your tortilla, and then you could kind of take a bite of the pork with the pickly. Yeah, the Christmas to it. It really did. Flavor-wise, it's very bland. I like boring. it. It works with the meat. It's okay. Very, very good. Last but not least, pretty much what I live for is fried <laughs> dough. You know, I fell in love with beignets when I went to New Orleans. Um, Café du Monde, people know, they're famous for it. Of course, Disneyland has beignets that are fabulous. They are. These are just they're as good. good. They're just as good. Very hard to find when you go out yeah. dining somewhere. Well, now you know, folks, they're here. So this is a half order, $6. If you want to be a oinker, which I would for <laughs> sure get the full order, it's $8, my gosh. They come with different dipping sauces, white chocolate, raspberry, dark chocolate caramel. I don't want any of them. I'm a purist. I just want the beignet. <laughs> Leave the powdered sauces sugar. out of it with powdered sugar. These are so pillowy, so delicious. Get some to eat here and get some the to go. What I like about it, the crispiness on the outside. That's what I, I really just, like. I just like that they're fried. You don't I like care. powdered you just sugar. Want them. <laughs> they're very messy though. Very, very messy. I'm gonna wait till I'm off camera to eat them because they are gonna make a mess. But it's okay. I'm gonna put a bib on or something. <laughs> you embarrass me. You know that. Sorry. I'm no, excited. Sorry. I'll tell you, we had a lot of good food. What were some of your favorites? For sure, the griot. I think the flavors in there, the, you know, you, you get the citrus flavors coming through, the pickled flavors. There's just, it's so complex. I love it. Okay. I'm going to say I love the tour, the island combo, just because you're getting so many different regions and different flavors going on mm -hmm. from Creole to Haitian. Delicious. And, of course, the beignets. I can't go wrong with beignets. Mine, sticky chicken wings. Delicious. I love something you can just lick your fingers on it. I was driving you nuts. I was like, Alan, you have some manners. <laughs> I don't care. Forget like the manners. A little something, I'm something, eating. Okay. I can do what I want. It was delicious, but crispy I agree. and sweet. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. The bourbon chicken I really like, too. I love mm -hmm. the sauce. I love the, the rice. It had a nice kick to it. It did. And last, I guess the, the, um, the island pork. The grill. The grill. Okay, Trish. <laughs> First of all, you've got to take the stupid outfit off. I mean, no. I, People are going to laugh at you and laugh at care. me. I don't care. You, know, you represent me, too. I don't care. I love a vacation. You know, I, I, live, for, I live for eating. But We're second, in Redlands. I can pretend. That's okay, okay. I can pretend. I'm putting my sunglasses back on. <laughs> Where are we put off to next? Put your puka shells on. I'm not going to put these puka shells. I'm not in Hawaii. Where are we off to next? We're going to Biola's Southern Cuisine. cuisine and I'm going to keep up my... I'm going to get my Southern accent and get some sweet tea. Uh. Located on the corner of Vineyard and Holt behind Starbucks and Comfort Inn Suites in Ontario, proudly stands Biola's Southern Cuisine Restaurant.
Owner Troy McSwain, his wife Elizabeth, and sons Troy III and Alex invite you to experience what promises to be a most enjoyable dining experience. You know, this is a restaurant we came and taste tested and it blew us away. It was so memorable, the food was delicious, it's home style, it's beautiful, and we came back to do a show. Plus, the owners are really into health, so a lot, there's a lot of healthy twists to it. So I really appreciate that, but the flavors here are amazing and let's get right into it. Oh, yeah. We had catfish, cheese grits, and eggs. Now, that's not something I've ever had for breakfast before. I don't know about you. I mean. This was so memorable, I dreamed about it for like weeks. Okay, so this is three scrambled eggs. Then they put cheese on some grits. So you got some cheese, cheese grits. And then he does a whole filet, a catfish, where he does half cornmeal and half flour, seasoned flour. And it's crispy and it's tender. And I'm telling you, this breakfast, lunch or dinner, is fantastic. I agree, it's, th what is it, $13, $13, which is a steal. He cuts up the filet into four pieces, so it's four pieces of fried catfish, yeah. delicious. I love the grits, I love the eggs, I love the environment here. You really yeah. feel at home. Absolutely. I've never been in the South in terms of living there, but <laughs> if I did, this is the place I want to go. You wouldn't survive a minute. <laughs> now, now his family is from, I believe, South Carolina okay. and also New Orleans, and his, it was named after his grandmother. Very so there's nice. a lot of tradition, yeah. a lot of passion in this restaurant, and you can tell in the food, a lot, a lot of passion and love. Absolutely. Well, I have the next two, red velvet waffle, mm. $9. So we did candy pecans on this waffle. It's fabulous. So it's your traditional red velvet cake type batter with the Hershey's um, cocoa in it and red food dye. You know, the waffle has more of a cake-like texture to it, but I like that. Uh, it has a very nice texture, great flavor. They make a house-made cream cheese frosting that's not too sweet. It's the perfect consistency of cream cheese with powdered sugar and vanilla. Then they candy pecans. And I'm telling you, the combination is so good. And the third <sighs> item, called Sidewinder with Cheese, $7. This is amazing. These are beer batter potato skins that are like, they're not potato skins, they're curls. Yeah, it's like pieces of potato, basically. Yeah, you know? so it's crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. Then he makes a house-made cheese sauce with not one, not two, <laughs> not three, but four cheeses. Now, when he told me one of the cheeses, I instantly knew I liked him because this is how I make my mac and cheese, and the secret is Velveeta. So there's a little Velveeta, mild cheddar, sharp cheddar, and Jack. And he makes a bechamel-type cream sauce and makes a cheese sauce out of it. Then he adds grated uh, mild cheddar on top and bacon bits. I mean, what better? This is like perfection in a bite. I'm telling you, it is so good. I heard you say you liked green onions on it. I would like, I would see green onions for color. And also, just, I like green onions on anything. I do too, but it's still perfect no, no. regardless. This is like on your saddest day, this will make you happy. Trust me. And make sure you ask for them really, really crispy. Yes. That's a key thing. Yeah, really, really crispy. So. Next came some of our entrees. First, it was a sauteed boneless smothered chicken breast, $11. This is about an eight ounce chicken breast that's actually baked and seasoned first. Then it's sliced up into about four or five large slices. It's sauteed with red and green bell peppers, onions, and a white wine sauce. It's kind of sauteed together, served on a bed of rice with a, um, a brown beautiful, gravy. delicious brown gravy. Yeah. Wow, simple but delicious. And a lot of the food here, it's comfort yeah, food. It it's is. It's not fancy at all, but true flavors and textures. This is excellent. Yeah, it's an old school favorite, you know, very simple. But again, they develop the sauces themselves and they make things from scratch. And I think that's what makes the yeah. difference is that they're making things from scratch. All right. Next came the Papa McSwain's Chicken and Waffles, $16. By far the best dish of the whole evening yes. at any restaurant. This is what you want to get. This is a half a chicken that's breaded and deep fried. It comes with a big giant waffle on one side. Now there's three sides you can choose from. A mac and cheese that's real cheesy, oh, really, really delicious. delicious. The second side you can choose from are the, uh, the greens. And what's nice about these, they aren't bitter, they're made with a smoked turkey. Yeah. Again, trying to keep it Hopeful. healthy rather than ham hocks. Yeah. And to me, the best of all, yams. These are delicious yams. What makes them so good, I want to say almost like caramelized. They are. They've got a slight chew to them. Mm -hmm. It's thick, it's, 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 I mean. It's like they're brulee like they're brulee. It's tremendous. Butter, brown sugar. I mean, this will get cinnamon. you into a diabetic coma, but it's sure worth it. <laughs> really, really good. The chicken, the best fried chicken I've had anywhere. 
it's moist, juicy. I mean, you can't beat this dish. Yeah, I agree. And then there's that waffle. You know, their waffles are really spectacular here. They make their own blend, so there's some spices in there, a little bit of cinnamon I'm tasting, maybe a little it's nutmeg. A little spicy, really right? nice, nice flavor. Then they make them to order, so they're nice, they're nice and crispy if you ask for them extra well done. But then the butter, I was tasting and I'm like, okay, it's real butter, number one. Number two, it's a little sweet. So I'm asking, what is this? What is this? I'm tasting a little maple syrup in there. So it's really nice. You don't need syrup. I can't believe no. I'm saying that you don't need I syrup. Know, you like syrup on everything. I do, but it doesn't It doesn't need it. It's no. perfect the way it is. So this is perfect salty sweet. And you eat the chicken and the waffle at the same time. Boy, you, you're going <laughs> to you love it. You were shoving it in. I, I, oh, you have to have the flavor to it. <laughs> Let's see. The next entree we had was shrimp and cheese grits. $13. Yeah. Oh, my. This was about eight large shrimp. They're sauteed. And... With it, it's a butter seasoned shrimp sauce. I guess yeah. the best way of saying that. Yeah. And then you have one large jumbo shrimp on top. And what's nice about it, you've got to get this with the cheese I agree. Grits. You can get it regular, but mm -hmm. I, I don't know how much more extra, but whatever it is. I think it's a pay dollar. For it. I <laughs> Literally. Mean, the cheese to it yeah. makes it, and it's got texture to it. Just cheese alone is wonderful. But I'm telling you, this is great. The, the shrimps were perfect. And the sauce had a really nice sauce to it. It does. I liked about it, it has a kick to it. It was tomatoey. It was just perfect. Yeah, and I think the cheese really helps to balance the heat in the back. It's creamy. It's, it cools it down a little bit. Speaking of heat and cooling yes. it down, this is the only restaurant I know in the world probably <laughs> that serves Kool-Aid. Yes. Cold Kool-Aid. Yes. You got grape Kool-Aid. Yeah. You got, it's, it's called blue Kool-Aid. Blue. It's got red Kool-Aid, which yes. is cherry, and lemonade. Yes. But it's very clever, and pretty soon they're going to have a whole liquor, uh, you know, beer and wine here. Yes. But, and they're going to make some fun drinks with the Kool-Aid. But I just thought, how clever. We all grew up with it, and guess what? You can get it here. Yeah, the owner was talking about how um, it's not from the can, it's from the packet. How, that's, a, that's a very important a detail in itself, it. but it's from the packet. So, very good. Last entree we had was called Mitch's Big King Seafood Gumbo, $22. This is a very classical dish, very traditional yeah. uh, roux-based gumbo. Yeah. It has ch uh, shrimp, chicken, chicken sausage, not andouille. Yes. It's got lump crab as well as two king crab legs, the claws, and, uh, I, and a, over a mound of rice. Yeah. I thought this was excellent. You know, gumbo is something that takes a while. It takes practice. You just can't make it at home. Right. You got to have patience. And it's, it's absolutely, it shows in there. A lot of love and just delicious. It's a developed flavor for sure. And I like that he's uh, making a healthy alternative and doing the chicken. The, uh, the chicken. Personally, I like andouille, but that's I know okay. You do, that's but okay. You're not healthful. No, that's true. <laughs> well, speaking of healthful, and with the gumbo comes a delightful piece of cornbread. Yes. It's a giant piece of cornbread. Yeah, I would call it more corn uh, cake than cornbread. It's, it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Yes, you can easily get it for dessert. <laughs> And speaking of dessert, it could be your second dessert, <laughs> peach cobbler. So often we'll go to a restaurant and they have cobblers oh. and they microwave them and they taste Awful. soggy. Yeah, yeah, they're horrible. This one is made, you know, fresh. It's delicious. They take pie dough, very simple, but they brush the top with cinnamon and sugar. And it just adds that kind of almost brulee top to it where it caramelizes a little bit on the top. Perfect. <sighs> you can get ice cream if you want. You can get whipped cream if go you want. Go for the ice cream. I say just get it by itself. Yeah, go it's for perfect. the ice cream. $5, it's huge. You can split it and then have the corn cake. And the ice cream. Yes. <laughs>
Okay. Yeah, this mac I'm and cheese taste. is coming with me. <laughs> You're gonna do the blue? Mmm. Grape Kool-Aid. Oh, this is a blue blue raspberry. Mm. This taste, tastes like childhood. Remember the blue raspberry popsicles that you get? Do you, I've never had that. Did, did, they, was... did they have a um, ice cream man when you were a kid? In the wagon, <laughs> the ice cream wagon. Let's dine out. Now we decided to add some pan sheer, uh, let's start over. It's for you to say. Yeah, ready, let's start again. You know, I hear if you drink a lot of coconut, it's kind of like a natural diuretic. Oh, <laughs> so don't drink too much. No. Next came the sticky chicken. Next came the chicken. <laughs> hey, okay, I, I hear you. That's a good. Well, that's a summary of That's it, more time. Wrap up. Questions or suggestions for the Let's Dine Out Show? Contact Alan or Trisha or visit letsdineoutshow.com. Closed captioning provided by Sammy's Cafe No. 2. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Sammy's Cafe No. 2 in Rancho Cucamonga. Let's Dine Out is made possible by support from Food for Life Baking Company, makers of over 60 organic, all-natural sprouted baked goods, as well as gluten-free and vegan products. Food for Life Baking Company, dedicated to better health since 1964. Foodforlife.com. Serve Pro of South Redland, Yukaipa, providing 24-hour emergency service to any size residential or commercial emergencies like water, fire, mold, or storm damage. Professional, insured, and bonded. Serve Pro of South Redland, Yukaipa. Bratworks Gourmet Hot Dogs in Redlands. Contemporary casual dining featuring gourmet hot dog and sausage sandwiches, salads, and other culinary creations. Other locations in San Bernardino and Palm Desert. The Castle Restaurant, serving an assortment of hot and cold appetizers, Middle Eastern entrees with live entertainment, The Castle Mediterranean Restaurant in Riverside. And viewers like you, supporting local public television. Thank you.